And people are outraged because of this. Russell Brand has been seeking truth for decades. He's been trying to find peace and joy. And I think he finally came to a conclusion. A YouTube channel called What Do You Mean does a great job going through, reading the comments. And we're going to be reacting to this video. We're going to figure out why everyone is so outraged and upset that Russell Brand got baptized. If you've been following Brand for a while, then you know that he's always had a keen interest in all religions, and only more recently he's been narrowing down on Christianity. Just over the last few months, he's been posting videos of him reading the Bible, as well as other Christian-centered books like Purpose Driven Life, The Problem of Pain, and Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. But given the fact that Russell has always shown interest in different worldviews and religions, no one really seemed to be that bothered by it. That was until just a little over a month ago when he announced his interest in getting baptized and a lot of his fans started to get uneasy and when he released a new clip on monday people were even more upset because he said this yesterday i got baptized and it was an incredible profound experience and many of you will have had your own experiences of baptism and will therefore know what i'm talking about many aspects of it were very intimate and personal the truth is this, as a person that has in the past taken many, many substances and always been disappointed in the ability to deliver the kind of tranquility and peace and even transcendence I always felt I've been looking for, something occurred in the process of baptism that was incredible, overwhelming. I felt changed, transitioned. Now, of course, even though it's been less than 24 hours, in the interim period, I've already felt like sort of irritation, I've got three children, I've got a job, I've got challenges, I still live in the world, but I feel as if some new resource within me has switched on. This is new to me and it's a joy to me. Those of you that have embraced me, I'm so grateful. I can't tell you how happy I feel and how relieved I feel. But as you know, if you know, my resources are coming from somewhere else and someone else now. Thank you so much for your support. Let's keep wow. doing this together. Or certainly I'm just going to do what I'm doing. I love you so much. I'm so grateful to be surrendered in Christ. After he released this video, people are pretty upset. People are going wild and crazy. And you're not going to believe what they say. Like, you got baptized, so you are now in the cult of the delusional who think that if they pray to a sky daddy, all your problems will be solved. You had everything you needed from the start. You are capable of anything without an imaginary friend. I'm disappointed in you because I thought you were an intelligent man, but now I don't know what to think. But I don't get that. When he was searching all of these religions he was looking into all of these drugs and somehow then he was really intelligent you know thinks he finally found it now he's not intelligent now he has all these problems and you can't trust him or maybe he finally found the actual truth wouldn't you give him a chance when someone has been searching for decades and they figure out what the truth is or at least they think they know what the truth is and you're just going to dismiss them because you have this weird ideology towards Christianity. The religious high will wear off eventually, just like the drug highs. I would say there is a point where you have to get back to life and there's irritations to life, but there's still this joy that comes with it. There's like when you're doing those things that you hate, or you dislike, but you still can know you have purpose. You still can know that God has had a plan for your life and you can trust in him. And there's just something that is different, that you can truly be satisfied doing the things that you really dislike. You used to be so free thinking and open minded. Christianity is the opposite. Like if we know it's the truth and we know this is what God has planned and this is what the Bible says, of course, we're going to stick with it. This is what we believe. We're not going to go be thinking that there's other ways to make it to heaven or there's another savior. That's just not true. And that's just not how it works because there's only one savior and that's Jesus Christ. And he died on the cross for your sins so that you can be saved. I would be, be open-minded about other people saving us. That's just not true because Jesus says he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. That's what Jesus said. Christianity. Why, Russell? Why? Stop that religious nonsense and do what you do best. Ugh. For someone who constantly seeks the truth, Christianity is the worst place to find it. There is no God. It's all nonsense. Good luck basing your whole life on a book of fiction. Of all the same things he believes and preaches, I'm shocked he's into religion. It saddens me that you are taking part and soon will be unforgiving. 50 years I've been watching Christians and Muslims. None of them have a forgiving bone in their bodies. I, uh, I forgive whoever has done this act. Crazy. 
in my opinion, like people who are truly following Jesus, <laughs> they're the people who forgive the most. That's what Christianity is all about, forgiving your neighbor, loving your enemies, uh, turning the other cheek. That's what Christianity is all about. Jesus is the ultimate person who forgives, and therefore we should forgive others. That's what the Bible commands. Yes, there's Christians who don't do that, and they don't follow Jesus. They don't follow what the Bible says, and we're not perfect. But Christians are the most forgiving. And so on. But non-believers aren't the only the ones who express a degree of pessimism for Brand, because even some Christians have been expressing cynicism over his potential conversion, given the fact that he's a celebrity. And to this charge, Brand said, So many of your comments have been so beautiful and encouraging, and I really appreciate it. And also even the cynicism, I understand, because some people will just see me as a celebrity. I don't see me as a celebrity, because I was me when I was a little boy. I was me when I was a junkie. I was me when I was poor. I've been me in all of the different phases. But I recognize that anything in this terrain in the sort of social media world could be exploited and utilized for me i've made the decision and i know what the decision is i've made it for myself and i pray that it, it will be relevant to my family so that's why people are really upset at uh russell brand and i get it because they're not christians they don't understand they really haven't experienced the love of christ and we just have to forgive them we have to love them. And obviously, Russell Brand is a new Christian. We can't put him up on a pedestal like we always do with uh, celebrities. But we can still celebrate it and be happy for him and then move on. Who cares? You know. But there's something that we can learn from this as well. That when we truly seek the truth and we truly seek God, he will find us. Just know that Jesus can satisfy your life. He can truly fulfill you. He can truly make you into a new creation and give you peace, the peace that Russell Brand is talking about. And he can do that for you today. So I encourage you to seek Jesus today and accept him as your Lord and Savior. And he will ultimately satisfy your life. Please comment down below if you have anything. Remember to subscribe.